Hello, Dr. Ali. This is group one, consisting of Aaron, Viet, Joey, and Chang. Our project is to detect road intersections based on GPS traces. An overview of our project is that it's guided by John Crum and Alarisa Fatih. We are utilizing OpenStreetMap's GPS data, segmenting our main GPX into separate trips through a GPX parser, implementing an intersection detection algorithm that assigns positive and negative values to intersections. We are evaluating the intersection assignments. Here's our data acquisition process through JOSM, a Java OpenStreetMap editor. Here we are acquiring data for our city of choice and downloading the GPS data points that coincide with the trips associated with this city. This is the resulting GPS data map that we use to assign intersections a positive and negative value. From this main GPX file, we parse each individual track into its own GPX file. Our results from the parser are hundreds of GPX files for our city of choice. In order to assign positive and negative intersection values to the GPS data, we are using a shape descriptor. The shape descriptor is comprised of four concentric circles with 16 angular sections for each of these circles, creating 64 bins in the histogram. These bins are labeled starting at zero degrees on the innermost circle. We count from zero degrees counterclockwise until that ring is full, then we move on to the next ring. This shape descriptor is moved systematically around the GPX map. The shape descriptor analyzes edges, or vectors, which are created by temporally adjacent GPS points. A shape descriptor histogram bin is filled when the edge coincides with that bin. Here we can see that shape descriptor histogram bins have been filled for these two edges. Now that the bins are filled, the histogram data is analyzed to assign a positive or negative value for that GPS location. A positive value is assigned to a GPS location that observes jagged peaks at every three or four bins, while a negative intersection value is assigned to a GPS location that observes peaks at only intervals of eight.